Hi guys, it's Somalsi here. So welcome to another apartment renovation. So today I am back renovating another eco lifestyle apartment, but this time I am renovating one before the world has been updated and modernized and became eco-friendly. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys will like the way it turned out. It ends up having three bedrooms and one bathroom and I made it to fit a five sim family. So two parents, two kids and one teenager. Of course, you guys could update this really easily depending on your family. And even if you had more sims, I think you could fit them in, especially now that we have bunk beds, you could fit lots of sims in. And yeah, there's definitely lots of possibilities for different families, I think is what I'm getting at. But anyways, I really love the way this apartment turned out. It ends up being just really cozy and kind of cluttered, a little bit messy, but not really that messy. There's just a little bit extra clutter on like the coffee table and kitchen table. But honestly, I've done more in the past and I didn't think this really needed any more to have that kind of cluttered, messy feel that I was going for. I just more wanted it to be lived in. So hopefully you guys get that and hopefully you guys like the apartment. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. But I really wanted to also use decorations on the refrigerator. I recently just finished a build. I'm hopefully going to be sharing this either before this apartment or after. I'm not exactly sure what order my videos are going up in, but I just finished a build and I put uh, like, uh, what do you call those drawings? That's what they're called, my goodness. <laughs> Such a hard word to think of. Um, I put drawings that the children can do in game. I downloaded a couple of rooms from the gallery with the drawings um, just placed in the room so you could download them. And I put them on the refrigerator and I just thought they looked so cute and I really wanted to do that here. But unfortunately, the place where I put the refrigerator, it would not work and I was so frustrated about that. Um, but yeah, if you guys do see the build that I'm talking about, hopefully you like the way it looks because I actually didn't record that part, but it is in the screenshots. And I just think it looks so good and I just need to do it more often. But anyways, that's completely off topic. Here I'm decorating the living room. I really like these shelves that I put above the couch right here with uh, just random clutter decorations. I was looking at a lot of interior like drawings. I've been looking at illustrations for like a long time of both exteriors and interiors. And I really just love looking at like more cartoony uh, like inspiration, I guess. Just cartoony drawings in general, I think are really inspiring when it comes to decorating in The Sim, especially now that I am using this reshade. If you guys have not heard me talk about this yet, because I've actually only shared one build with this reshade, I'm pretty sure. Maybe two by now if that other build is up on the channel. <laughs> um, but this is Dove. So for a long time, I was using the original Dove reshade. This is Dove 2.0. It's created by Kindle Spice, and I absolutely adore this reshade. I adored the previous version too. I think this one is very similar. It's a little bit softer. I think the shadows are a tiny bit less harsh, but overall they're pretty, they're pretty identical. This one is made with the most recent version of reshade. Anyways, I will have her video linked in the description so you guys can watch it. She gives a really good tutorial on reshade and how to install her preset and just a bit of extra information that I think is really useful. So I highly recommend you guys check it out. But here you can see I'm trying to add decorations to the refrigerator, but they just snapped to the walls and I really could not think of a good way to work around that because of course this is an apartment and you can't delete the walls. Because if this was a regular build, I would just remove the walls surrounding the refrigerator and then use move objects and the control nine key to place the drawings wherever I wanted to on the refrigerator or anywhere else in the apartment. But um, yeah, it didn't work out that way. But thankfully the note cards or the post-it notes rather from uh, Parenthood, you don't need to remove walls. You can just use the nine key and place them wherever you would like to. <laughs> and so it's really nice because they don't snap to walls at all. Um, so there's a couple of those up there. Maybe they're like little notes about what needs to be bought at the grocery store or notes to each other. I'm not exactly sure, but um, I just love that extra bit of stuff. And I would absolutely love to see the Sims team update the refrigerators to have some like slots. So you could actually stick those drawings or other artwork and stuff to the refrigerator. I think that would be so cool. So 
who knows if anything like that will ever come to the game, but I would love to see it. But either way, over here is going to be the bathroom. So it is the only bathroom in the apartment. I'm sure if you really wanted another one, the closets in between the two bedrooms where it creates that nice square could easily be removed and you could put another bathroom in there if you felt like you needed it because five sins sharing one bathroom might get a bit frustrating, but I thought it was, you know, all part of the challenge. And I really like the way the bathroom turned out, by the way, I meant to mention the tile that I'm using in this apartment because for a while I did consider changing it because I wasn't sure if it exactly like matched anything that I was using. And I still kind of don't think it does, but for some reason I really like the little bit of like mismatchy like vibe that it gives this apartment. I don't know if you guys will agree, but I was going for a more just lived in kind of, not necessarily realistic, but I mean, things aren't always gonna match perfectly, but for some reason, I don't know if it's the reshade or whatever, but it just all seemed to kind of work to me. So hopefully you guys agree. But anyways, you can see I am decorating the parents' bedroom. So in here, there's of course a double bed. So two parents could fit in here really easily. There's a side table over here that I put some clutter on. I also add a couple more shelves, the same ones that I put in the living room and add some clutter on those. And then there's a closet uh, from Get Together. So it's a walk-in closet. And then other than that, I have a bookcase in here. I used that that bookcase that came from kids room stuff a couple of different times in this apartment and i think it just works really well in these more like cozy interiors because it's just so colorful and cluttered and detailed and like you can just place one object and it makes a room feel so much more like alive and lived in if that makes sense to you guys hopefully it does but i think just all of the color and extra details that that bookshelf had it just it just adds more decoration to the interiors when you place it. But anyways, over here, I'm going to be decorating the first child's room. So like I said, there is a kid's room and then a teen's room. So here in the kid's room, there are two beds. So bunk beds, so you can fit two kids in here really easily. And other than that, in here, I also place a hamster cage from uh, my first pet stuff. I thought that was pretty fun. And then they also have a desk in here. And I was trying to think of their personalities as I was decorating this room because I didn't go into this apartment really thinking about the Sims too much it was more about the decorating style that I was going for and like how I want the interior to look but as I was decorating the kids room I was thinking that one of them is into dinosaurs and the other one is into sports and basically that just kind of stemmed from some of like the posters and stuff that I was using so I think the kid on the top bunk is into dinosaurs and the one on the bottom is into sports so yeah, that's what I was thinking, but of course, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that's something that you guys can easily update if you have a different personality in mind or different Sims. I mean, you could easily turn this into another teenager's room if you wanted to, or a toddler's room, or a giant nursery if that's what you wanted to do. Um, of course, I always make nurseries pretty small, but thinking about it, I probably should make them more like this size because eventually the children are gonna grow up and you'll want more activities for them. Maybe once we actually get updated babies, then I'll make bigger nurseries. I really hope that comes to The Sims. I know that they are aware of it, like The Sim Gurus, and I know I've talked about it a bunch and plenty of other people have too, but it's something I would really like to see. I don't know if this is like a universal thing. I know a lot of people do want this, but I'm sure there's plenty of people that kind of like babies as objects. Let me know if you're one of those people because I'm kind of curious. I'm more and less concerned about them being objects because I don't do any gameplay, but more concerned about having more decorations to use for them, like updated like bassinets and like strollers, even if they're purely decoration, I just want more items to use basically. Um, but anyways, um, over here is going to be the teenager's room. So originally I wanted to use this bed, but I did not like how dark the frame was. I love how CC creators separate the bed, like the actual bedding from the bed frame. I would love to see that come to the game. And so I was trying to think of things I could use to cover up the headboard and the footing board, but then like the bottom of the bed is dark too. And so I just end up getting rid of this bed in general. For a while, I tried to just kind of stick it out and just see if I added other decorations to the room, if I wouldn't really notice that the bed frame was so dark, but I end up using a bed that came from, I think it's Parenthood, but it has that red and blue bedding on it. I've used it a ton in a lot of different builds. I really like that bed. I think the swatch of it's just really nice for a lot of different types of bedrooms. So I ended up using it in here and I put two of them together because I was wanting a larger bed, like larger than the single beds that we have, but smaller than the double beds. And so 
yeah, I put two of them next to each other. If you don't like it, it's an easy thing to fix, but I don't know, it's kind of kind of a nice change of pace and it makes it look a little bit different than it normally does. I mean, it looks a little bit off because they don't match up perfectly, but I don't know, I still like it. But either way, as I was decorating this room the same as the kids' room, I was trying to think of the teen's personality. And I think this teen is into like a lot of different things, but primarily I think they're into video games. So I end up giving them a really nice computer and like desk space. So I just imagine they do a lot of computer gaming, but they're into other things as well. I just tried to make a very general teenager room, but they do have a really nice computer. So I imagine they have like a job or something or they saved up their allowance or whatever kind of money they've acquired for whatever reason, they have put into buying themselves a really nice computer. So maybe they have aspirations of becoming a programmer or tech guru or uh, maybe a professional gamer. That's definitely a possibility or something like that. So yeah, I thought that was pretty fun. And I liked adding the clutter decorations on the desk too. I didn't clutter it up too much, but it still feels lived in and fully decorated. I do actually use the floor clutter that came from Parenthood and I put that on the floor just to add some extra like mess and decorations to make it feel more like a teenager's room. I don't, I mean, I was a really messy teenager. I don't know about you guys. I'm sure plenty of you were nice, clean, orderly teenagers, but I was a very messy teenager. <laughs> but anyways, over here, I'm just adding the final few decorations and then we're going on to the screenshot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshot. So thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. I'm still burning I love just went cold Why? I keep on making the same mistake I always let you back in When I begin to get myself together again You are back once more like everything's the same I tried to build my world Taking them down, it's tearing me apart. I can't pretend now. I have to get over you again. You said it was the last time that you keep coming back to show me. Sorry, you have changed now, but it's the same old story. I love just went cold. I'm still burning